So we got all this stuff for $34. How awesome is that? Hey guys, it's Mama Bear to Many, and this is our last trip that I went to the grocery store before our um, trip down to Colonial Williamsburg. So one thing that I was not planning on buying, but at the last minute decided to buy was a camp potty. And I don't know if anyone has used this. I actually had to watch videos on how to use a camp potty because I actually had no clue. Um, my friend, um, she had mentioned that she had a camp potty and my other friend, she uses a camp potty regularly. There's is a little bit taller. And I said, you know what? I need myself a camp potty because up here in the middle of nowhere, Maine, we can pull over to the side of the road and pretty much go to the bathroom anywhere because there's nobody there. We live like literally in the boonies. So to drive from one spot to like the main store that we go to that's two hours away, on that road, there is literally zero bathrooms. It takes us two hours to get from there to there. It's about a hundred miles and there is zero bathrooms. In the summertime, there is one bathroom. It's like a porta potty um, and that's fine. That works out great. But I thought that we would buy a camp potty. So this is not all about camp potties. I promise you. It's about what we bought today. So number one, we're gonna bring this camp potty um, I got a couple rolls of paper towel. I got some, so this, this we are gonna bring. So the fruit that we're gonna bring, this kind of just got shoved on the table. Um, the fruit that we're going to bring is going to be, these apples are gonna come. And my daughter was so kind and sewed these bags for me today. So I am going to have the apples in a bag like that. And then I also bought some pears. So we're going to put the pears in the other bag that she made. And I only could find a couple bunches of bananas and they're really too green. I don't like eating them until they're like um, really spotted and they're not good for the baby quite yet, but I thought that I'd buy them so the baby would have them later. So then I bought this grass fed milk. We usually, spoil our daughter and give her a bottle once or twice a day. Um, she's two, she usually just gets a bottle before bed. We're okay to have a little bit um, before nap time. And that's just what we do. And that's where we're at right now. And we'll work on and address that at a later point. But until then, this is what we have. I'm not quite sure that this is gonna fit in the refrigerators at the hotel. Um, so we're going from here to um, right outside of New York City and we are going to be staying in a hotel. I think what we're going to do is have this milk and then pour this into our Fiji water bottles and, and screw the cap on so that they'll fit in the refrigerator inside of the hotel. So I got some juice boxes. Love these Honest Kids. I actually like these boxes better than the pouches because the pouches tend to like squeeze too hard, too fast, too easily. Um, we also got some body armor, um, fruit punch. If anyone's kind of feeling a little funky, lightheaded, that type of stuff, then I usually turn to the body armor. Um, the girls were looking at taking off their nail stickery things that they had on. And so I read that you could use that. So I bought some of that for them. Got hair ties for the little girls. I got a knife set. Um, I needed to bring, you know, I think as a cook or a chef or whatever, you get kind of like your favorite style knife that you use. And this one right here is what I use for everything. I use a knife like this for um, chopping carrots. I use this for chopping onions. Whatever I'm doing, I pretty much use this. Um, no matter how big or small it is, that's just what's most comfortable to me. I have some Cutco knives. One of them is like this. 
which I really like. Those are really expensive though. Um, and then I have a Pioneer Woman, which is really nice as well. Um, I did not find any Pioneer Woman. This was actually the only brand that they had in this type of knife at the store. Um, so I am going to give it a try, but I'm gonna bring these with us down there so we have knives. So I'm also bringing one of my knives from home, but as a big family, usually there's two of us cooking, chopping at the same time. So I thought that we would have two and I would love to have another one at the house because it looks like, it seems like I'm always looking for my favorite knife. So I got this, so it's a canvas bag. I haven't opened it up yet. What my idea on this is, is when we're in New York, some of the kids are going to have those sleeping bags that you saw stuffed behind the seats. And I'm not sure the way that it is, if there's actually like, normally like at a hotel, there's like that valet parking you can go underneath and get one of those little carts that you pull out and you put all the stuff on the little cart and then you can drive that to your room. It doesn't look like there's that type of setup. So I'm thinking, okay, 12 kids up into a hotel room after driving for nine hours that day, what's my day gonna look like? And I was thinking if I had one of these, I could shove a bunch of stuff into it and bring it up the stairs. And then throughout our trip, this could be our laundry bag. Um, so that is why I bought that. This is actually, it's really heavy duty. It's canvas and it has a little um, pocket on the front. It re it was only $7. I thought that was really a good price for something that seems so sturdy. It says on here that it holds three loads of laundry, so who knows. Um, my son loves orange, and this was on clearance for $2, so I gra grabbed that for him. I fell in love with this for our one-year-old. We are all wearing pink outfits on the first day. And I fell in love with this and I got this for her. It was $10. And then later on I saw, I had been looking at these before and they weren't on clearance and these were like 15 before, but these were marked down to five. So I grabbed one of these for her as well. My son does not have a cup yet for coffee. So we got this, this was marked down to $5. If you're local, there was one more of these left. That is a great deal for those. These apparently go with the toilet or so the YouTube video said. So one box for us to bring. The rest of these are gonna go up into my pantry. We are running way low and need to fill the pantry with those. Um, yes, I always say that we're a dairy-free family. Most of the time we are pretty well dairy-free. I am buying this to go on top of um, our meal in New York. So what my plan is there is I have an Instapot and I'm going to bring the Instapot up into the hotel room. We're staying two nights um, outside of New York, in New Jersey, and so we're going to have two frozen packets of um, just hamburger. I mixed hamburger that had taco stuff and beans in it. So we have the little individual bags, the blue corn bags of chips. In those bags, I will warm up that in the Instapot, what I just told you, the taco mix. Warm that up. That will get dumped on top of the chips. People that can have cheese will put cheese on top. Um, and then we have guacamole little cups that can go on top of that. So that is what we will be having. So we're having that for two nights. I have two separate bags for that. Um, the first night that we are there, we're gonna have these were marked down. So I got two of these. So the first night we'll have those chip bags with that. And then the second night we will have the chip bags with these salads here. Then I got some gluten-free bread. So you saw in my packing video, I have chip, I have crackers with like the protein and that type of stuff. I know that my husband, who's gonna be driving most of the time, he'll probably want something that he can hold on to and drive at the same time. So I did get some um, gluten-free bread so that we could bring that for him to have. Okay, this is kind of funny because I do never buy this, but I did. I looked, this looked like the best um, alternative. We usually make our laundry soap 
but I bought the laundry soap so that um, we would have it when we were down there to be able to do our laundry. There's a washer and dryer down there. And if we needed in New York, they do have um, a washer and dryer there as well. It's like a coin operated one. So yeah, not gluten free muffins. Tomorrow morning we are, we have that bag of breakfast foods. They're like the fig bars, the gluten free fig bars. Um, we took some, um, eggs and hard boiled the eggs. So the hard boiled eggs will go in a zipper bag and we'll have the bag of hard boiled eggs. Some people are going to have muffins with that. Some people are going to have the gluten free bars with that. It's really just a treat for them that? when they get up. I'll show you in a minute. So you guys already said about the pears and then these bananas that we got. So we also had these, these were on clearance for 87 cents. And so I thought that I could bring those as an extra. Um, I got three bags of those because that's what there was. The kids always like eating those. Um, so that right there was Walmart that we just went over. And so the grand total for Walmart was $240. And then this right here is what I got at Dollar Tree. I know that looks fun, doesn't it? Oh, we're going to bring that for the trip. In her face. Yes. Whoa. I got on. I see that. Uh, that. So, basically what I got there is just little things that I can give out throughout the trip to try to entertain if necessary. So, I got some little Etch-a-Sketch pads, some new stickers. Um, these are more for the baby just to chew on. We got some of these pinball machines. We got one of these. Either somebody can blow this for the baby. Or a two year old can entertain herself. It's a hit. Um, I got this as a backup milk for in case we didn't have milk for bottles and such these games for some of the older kids older middle kids um i got jump ropes the jump ropes are for um times like if we're able to get out for a couple minutes they would be able to um get out jump rope just stretch their legs and that type of stuff and then just weird things that we are I know that most people, you wouldn't actually like buy this for your child to play. Most people wouldn't buy this for their child to play. But in a vehicle, you know that they're gonna be like playing around with this. Oh, it feels cool. Oh, look, it's on my face. And it's gonna be cool and interesting and new for them. Got some stamps. Um, I got these, I don't know if they'll work or not. They're little magnet hooks and I thought maybe that I could magnet them inside of the van. I have to go check that out because I'm not quite sure. Um, and then some dry erase boards. These have different things on them, different games, alphabet, um, this game on the back, and then the dry erase markers, a bunch of different colors. I got some big people hair ties. Um, these mini Go Uno cards, I thought for some of the middle kids, nice small size. This I saw at the checkout. I don't really know what it is. I guess you're supposed to like squeeze it together, but I was thinking actually it's really, it's really hard and kind of rubbery that the baby might want to chew on it or even the person who's getting um, some big teeth in the back. You're getting big teeth in the back, huh? And then they had these really cool, these wooden spoons at Dollar Tree. It has like a silicone handle here and then just the wooden spoon on the end. So I'm going to bring one set with me down there and then just keep these for the house so i see and these apparently are going to be the hit should we bring those with us yes yes where are we going where are we going tomorrow i know there's so much stuff here isn't there so this is our shopping trip. This was Walmart and this was Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree was $34 and then the Walmart was $240. So we also went to two thrift stores and I will show you in just a minute once I clear this stuff out what I got there. 
Okay, so what did we get? We're going to go over games first. Now, what we do with games is I usually buy games used. Sometimes if there's something that we really, really are thinking about and we want for a long time that we'll be able to have everybody use the game, then I'll buy it brand new. But I can name probably on one hand how many games I have bought brand new besides card games. Um, Ticket to Ride was one of them because I wanted to learn how to play it. Um, and then there was another game, we call it the Bean Game, it's called Bonanza or something like that. And that's a really fun game, but it had really high reviews and I had researched it a lot. Anyhow, these are some games, I'm not like advertising these games, these are just some games that I got cheap at the, at the thrift stores. So all this stuff is from the thrift stores. And so this is Bubble Talk. Bubble Talk? I don't know, looks fun. It says that you can play with three to eight players, which is super awesome. Um, five second rule, which is making noises at me. Um, says ages 10 to adult for three or more players. So that means that we can play with quite a few people. That's one of the challenges when you have such a big family is finding games that more than just a couple people can play. So I got this one, it was 50 cents. I couldn't actually open it to see if all the pieces were in because it was taped, um, but it was 50 cents and I figured that I would try it. We're trying this new system where um, some of the older kids are with some of the younger kids kind of one-on-one -on -one to build relationships a little bit better. Um, and so I needed some more younger kid games because the other night when we were doing younger kid games, they wanted to play one after another and then they're like, I already played that game. So I thought that I'd try to get just, that only has two to four players, but it is for the younger kids and it was 50 cents. So I thought I'd try that. So this little thing is so cool, it was a dollar. So what you do is you would try to get three in a row. So two kids could play this or even just one person by themselves, younger kid could try to pop them and say get all oranges or whatever it is. They're all different, um, I don't know, like dice with different things on them. So that is going to go on the trip with us. Um, this mirror I got for $2. I had actually been contemplating getting a mirror like this because our Too baby- the camera lady. <laughs> our baby, our baby is, <laughs> She wanted to see herself. Um, our baby is not quite a year old and she loves mirrors. So it has the strap on. Um, so we're going to have that for the vehicle for her for the trip. And then Guess Who is always a fun game. So I thought that was another one that we could rotate with the younger kids. Um, we're bringing a bunch of card games. So we're going to bring the Sorry card game along with us. Card game games are great because they can just go in a hotel room or something and it's really quick and easy. Somebody can just throw them in their bag. It's not a huge game, um, but we love playing games. So um, this one right here, I don't even know. <laughs> this I saw like all these types of craniums at different thrift stores and I don't even know what cranium is. I know I'll find out soon enough though. So this is Cranium Zurica. So it looked fun. It looked like it has all different types of animal type things on it. So I don't know, fun, give it a try. And then you don't feel bad. Like if you play a game and you're like, oh, this is really stupid and you spent a dollar on it, it's not that big of a deal or spent $2 on it. It's not that big of a deal. You can just re-gift it to someone else. Um, but if you spent, you know, $30 on it, then it's like, oh, you feel obligated that you have to keep it in your cabinet. So this is um, a changing station. I was trying to decide what I wanted to do. Normally I just change the children on one of the seats. Our two-year-old is very tall, like literally she's only an inch shorter than my five-year-old. Um, so we, I ended up getting this for a really good price at the thrift store. So I'm just gonna slide this in between my seat and that snack rack there so that I can pull it out and do quick diaper changes, but we'll bleach that down and everything first. Okay, I got some shoes for the baby. These were brand new. I don't know if they'll actually fit her, but it was um, one of the thrift stores had fill a bag for $3. So that was part of the fill a bag for $3. Um, I actually went to lean this mattress pad up against the thing because my shoulder's really been bothering me. So I went to lean it 
on the thing so I could use my other hand to look. And I went to lean it against this dress and I was like, oh, I really like that. Um, so yeah, it's obviously it's really low cut, but that makes it good for nursing. So I would just wear, I have these like half shirts and you can make those too if you want to. Just get like a tank top that's really high cut and you can cut it, you know, mid belly and you'd wear that and then you wear something like this over. So that would come down to like here and then this would be like this. So when you nurse, you're fine to nurse and you just be able to lift that up and you make like your own little nursing dress. So some things that would be really revealing in other instances, you can make it work really well for nursing. So then I think a lot of this is my daughter's. She found this skirt. Um, at the other thrift store, she found this skirt. I think that was like $3 or something like that. Um, cute little, oops. Cute shirt with a little sweater thing over it. These are for my 20 year old. She picked these up for herself. <laughs> now I'm gonna have a wicked itchy nose. All the different like cleaners that people use when I touch fabric I get like itchy and it's kind of like in my nose a little skirt and dress okay so then I got two pairs of muck boots and these are part of the fill a bag um this is part of the fill a bag thing because they were the thinner muck boots so I got two pairs of muck boots for the kids and then I found so at one thrift store it was fill a bag for three dollars the other thrift store it was children's clothing were a dollar a piece so most of these I got for a dollar a piece at the other thrift store that's cute so then I got some leggings we always need leggings in the sun what we usually do is in the summertime all of our leggings that have rips in, see this is starting to get worn right there, but all the ones that they have that have rips in them, we just cut them into like longer type shorts because if you just buy the short type leggings, they actually come like this and then they like crunch up almost like underwear and it really annoys my kids. They want them to be like close to knee length. So um, we take the old ones and we cut them and then we just get new ones. So all of these were just a dollar. So I just got various sizes for the six youngest girls, different sizes that they had available, all a dollar a piece. And then for the baby, she right now is wearing a snowsuit like 24 seven, that's what we are having her in. Um, so I got her this little jacket, sweater thing, that has a hood because she does not like hats. Um, so I thought that I would get her a hood just in case it's chilly then you can pull it up over her because she's getting too tall for her snowsuits Yes, she is getting too tall for her snowsuits and then my daughter found this and it is super cute little jacket so um, We got that for her. So that is about it. So total cost was at one store was um what did I just say? 24. 24 at one. 24 at one and then 10 at the other. So $34 for all that stuff. I am pleased with our shopping trip today. So I'm going to get packing and we're going to be off early tomorrow.